Hello guys, Ron Thompson here. Welcome back to another video. Look at this van that we just picked up. It's a crash damage. It's got the Wakefield picked up in Glasgow. Then we've got this tank and into a boiler tank. So the boiled water gets boiled and then put into the tank. And then these insulation blankets for Newcastle. Without further ado, let's get into this week's video. Alright, so it's Thursday morning and the lorry is dead um, which is really weird because the only thing that's been left on overnight is the inverter and Wi-Fi which is always on uh, it's not like I've been running any microwaves, air fryers, laptops, anything like that but it's dead so luckily we've got the booster pack so we'll give it a boost again but I think my batteries are on their way out because I've only been parked up 9 hours with my Wi-Fi on that shouldn't kill it Oh Jesus, it is definitely winter, look at that. Although it's, I think it's just hailstones, not necessarily snow. But there we go, all boosted. Oh, all right, there she is, all offloaded and dropped off. Luckily the boys had a fort left. Because when I arrived, they were like, yeah, yeah, just put it there, mate, and walked away. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Oh, that was awkward. I can't still just watch me record myself. Yeah. Anyways, Wakefield. Webby services again. Here we go. You can tell I'm not in a rush today, yeah. We literally just took a 50 minute break there That's just so we way. can pick up an Asian kitchen chow. This boy's proper staring me out. Hello. I also waited until he left before I waved at him. But uh, I stopped in for a chow, katsu chicken curry, and we took a 50 minute break. Um, I was only going to come in for a 15 for a shower, but uh, chow opened in like 10 minutes after I'd finished my shower, and I was like, well, you know, when in Rome, you only get it when you come down weather baiting with the 66 being closed all week or closed at midnight, sorry, I've not been able to go over the 66, so I've not been able to go to weather bay because you know, I'm always over height <laughs> Alright good, anyways on a Wakefield, drop Wakefield, pick up Doncaster and then hopefully pick something else up along the way as well, because it's only a half load Well, we're here and it's the first time I've ever taken my step frame to an RDC <laughs> This'll be fun Someone's gonna get annoyed at me, but shavels. Sure That is that old lover that we are causing havoc here at this RDC. There's people having to reverse around us and everything, and they're all kind of giving me dirty looks. And you know, because I'm not a cut and cider, I'm not allowed in this club. They're probably not, they're probably just looking at me normally, and like, but <laughs> I feel like I've been getting a couple of dirty looks. Probably thinking I'm lost because I'm empty now, and I don't have a men's these distribution van on the front, uh, kind of gives it away. But, anyways, we've got a load to pick up in uh, Doncaster, so we'll head for that now. And, uh, Hi, good. All right, here we are. Here's the load. Big DAF XF. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Dave the Angry Trucker here. It's pretty, pretty cool. This here machine. Hello. It's had better days. Open AR, Add Blue, Engine Power, Engine Malfunction. It's pretty much all the all the necessities. But there's some bit of bit of room in these old uh, these old DAF XFs. Oh, free tackle, but oh, oh, a free book. Oh. Ooh.
All right, here we are, just coming into my favourite place. Sunny, sunny, your auctions. We've got a wee five ton digger to pick up here to go on the back end. And then we've got a wee feed wagon to pick up in Penrith. And then they're going out to Newton Stewart. And then we've got that to drop off in Les Mahego. And then hopefully by then, that should pretty much be our Friday. All right, next part of the load, we JCB the back end. Now we've just got to fill the neck. All right, it's pitch black, but we're picking up this hopper here. You probably can't see. Obviously, we have the digger on and we have the truck. So we're going to take that all off, reverse her on basically, and that will give us more room. And now let's put that on. Let's get it done. The boy leaves and uh, GoPro seems to struggle, but here's what we've got so far. Obviously, that up the neck, the daft reversed up. And then we've got that feed wagon to go and then that to go as well. But aye, the GoPro seems to be struggling, so I've quickly switched on to the phone for a wee second. We have it, obviously that's up the neck, hey, sticking out a wee touch but not much, and then we've got the feed bin there, that'll strap down obviously the daft there, nice wee gap for the daft to move about, and then of course the daft up the neck, and this digger, however the digger has decided to break down now, and this bit, the boom won't move around, it won't even start, and so I've just switched her off for a wee bit, and hopefully she uh, calms down a wee bit because she's not too happy now, but we'll find out very soon. What's wrong with her? Oh, man alive. So we've got road closures and diversions taking us through this narrow, tight country lane on the 75. I love diversions because they obviously, they go through and they plan them and they, and they route them properly and... Jesus Christ. Oh, I just can't be arsed, man. Who's that? Uh, we'll just send the whole entire 75 up this way. Aye, good. Honest to Christ, eh? And I'm at fuck, I'm sitting about 4.8, so the daft. As we one kit's getting battered right now, eh? First bit delivered, just got to take the daft off, then the digger. It's all go the day, boys. Alright, next part off, trailer's all empty. Just got to pick up a wee tiny backload and then uh, load up the daft and get gone. Alright, now that you can see much, we'll start picking up this weird Fiat tractor. It's pitch black, but at least you can see bits of the lorry. All right, there we are, reloaded, GoPro's dead, uh, but we'll talk a bit more in the morning about the battery. Aye, half an hour of working time left, about two hours driving, 1% of GoPro battery. All right. That is us parked up, 12 o'clock, obviously we started at nine o'clock this morning. 15 hours for that is midnight. So, that means we've got a nine off, our last nine of the week. Um, aye, so we got nine off and well, obviously we'll start again at about 9 in the morning, uh, which should, that's like 8.57, but 9 o'clock. Anyways, in the morning. Good morning, and what a morning it is. Look at that. It's now 9 o'clock here. Obviously, can't touch the trailer, do an ounce of work until our 9 hour is off. But by the way, what do you think of my new black wheels? Basically, I didn't like the Dura Brights, got them painted black, and I think they look mint, eh? 
especially the trailer. I went for like a, like a darker red. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But anyways, let's have a look at the load. We're just obviously checking how tight she is now, and she's not bad. She's not moved at all. I was a bit worried about this because it doesn't have a handbrake, and obviously that's where I stay. But we're all good um, so far. Um, but aye, let's just have a wee look at the load. Alright, so we've got a big DAF XF that we brought up from Doncaster. Now obviously that was originally up the neck with a digger on there. And then obviously now it's just been slowed down because that will come off first. And that doesn't run. Heh. <laughs> uh, but aye, look at this state here. Look at this state here. There's my Fiat tractor as well. Aye, she's a... Uh, she's Frankie Frankie. Well... A little bit busy here at GBT this morning. We've got Law Exports, which is funny. Actually, I've got that truck and model. It's quite nice to kind of see that. I like that. Uh, so we'll go see what's happening. Get them tipped and uh, get on up the road. Oh no, it's not the Renault. It's fucking Spud Time's old wagon. Oh mate. Anyways, that's us off loaded. We had to rush because obviously that boy was waiting to load. And when I came in, I was like, you're right if I quickly whip this off and then I'll get out the rain. He was like, aye, mate, just be quick. And I was like, won't have to tell me twice. So I now we'll just uh, fire on up the road, get the wagon clean, get the wash, get a look all sexy again, and then uh, hi. All oh, right, so we made it back to the yard. And tell me it's winter. Without tell me it's winter, I'll go first. Beautiful, look at her. Still not clean, clean. Right, but she's cleaner. Now we're just quickly grabbing some ad glue. Uh, we're doing a bit of a rush. I've got a, a doctor's appointment uh, at half three. It's currently half two. Well, just after that. So I've got a part of lorry up, get all my gear out, get all my bedding, all my cameras, all that jazz. And then uh, go on the road. And then we're getting an exciting day tomorrow as well. There she is, all parked up. Beautiful tractor for Newcastle on Monday. We've also got a big digger to go on the back, and we're also picking up a Volvo FH, eh, Volvo F16. But that's all going to be in next week's video. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. There is also some new merch live on the store, which is of course the bobble hats, which I should show you in just a minute. But there we have it. What a week! I've got a little podcast to do tomorrow. <sighs> Buzzing my life right now. <laughs> and here they are, the new bubble hats have just arrived and they are absolutely mint eh? Red, white and blue and black represents the colours of the truck That is tidy Sean-Thompson.com If you want to buy yours